Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys missed any of the previous videos, consider checking the description and watching from the beginning. If not, I really do hope you guys will enjoy this video. We are so extremely close to 100,000 subscribers. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing. It would absolutely make my day. With that being said, I really hope you guys will enjoy today's episode. Alright, we're starting this video off with 92 fletching and we're currently around 700 points in pass control. We need to get to 1050 in order to buy full void melee and range and that's gonna be very useful when we do TOB. A lot of hours later, here we go, we are finally able to buy ourselves the full void and we also buy a ranging helm. When it comes to magic, it's not actually worth it because I can have tormented bracelet instead, so this is going to be a task. And not only that, I am now able to use this in Theater of Blood, which will be a best installed set. So I have the range, I have the melee, it is very, very good. I didn't expect I would be getting this item from here, but if I boost with Summer Pie, I can get 90 agility. With 90 agility, I can do Ardun Elite Diaries. So after this trip, I'll look into completing those. That is going to be pretty awesome. Here we go, we got two summer pies, meaning that we can do the entire lap of our good old Ardun course. I wonder how much XP I'll get for the last jump. This might be crazy XP, I'm not sure, we'll see. 8,000 experience, 250 points, and on top of that, that's also an achievement task. Let's see what else we gotta do. Right, so, if you're making yourself a rune cross, well, this can be quite a process, but for an Ardun diary, we have to do it from scratch. So, we create a crossbow string over here, and you make yourself runite limbs. You use the knife on a U-log to create a crossbow stock. You attach the stock to the limbs to create an runite crossbow unfinished, and then you add a crossbow string to the rune crossbow to create a rune crossbow from scratch wonderful and that is 93 fletching and we're gonna do some uh, fishing trawler there is one task that requires you to wear full angler outfit and since i'm done with pest control i was thinking where else would i be training fletching and this minigame might be a perfect opportunity for me to complete a hard task and get some decent fletching XP along the way. So that's probably what I'll do. Let's hope I get a Manta Ray as well this run so we finish another Elite Diary. Alright, there is 10 points for just completing the minigame. We can throw this in here and this in here. And let's see, do we get an Angler piece right off the bat? Uh, yeah, yeah we do. Perfect, we do. And we also get a Manta Ray. Uh, so that is amazing because now if I cook a Manta Ray right over here on this fire, that is going to be an elite task completed. I burnt it. I legit burnt it. I quit. <laughs> I'm 99 cooking, man. What are the chances? Right, raw Manta Ray. There we go. One more. No way I burned two in a row on 99 cooking. There it is. And that's an elite task done. So we can go claim the rewards. 250 points for completing an elite Ardun diary. That's crazy. Let's get 800,000 experience. Here we are. Let's speak to Two Pints. And she will upgrade our cloak into a cloak number four. Now I can ask for another one. Now the perks of this one are pretty solid. I get some sand delivered to my bank every single day which can be good for crafting training i get more marks of grace when i do rd rooftops and i get 50 percent more fish when i do fishing troll 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 <laughs> what and i get 50 percent more fish when i do fishing trawler and since we already have one angler outfit i might as well go for the full set on top of that i have in infinite teleports to farm infinite teleports to monastery and I get this experience lamp that I can put into runecrafting for a massive 800,000 XP drop. Getting us all the way to 86 runecrafting already. We gotta push this to 91. It is very doable. I am excited. Right, let's return to fishing boat and uh, let's finish off our task there. And here is 94 fletching, five more levels to go. I'll have to go make more headless arrows and I'm not looking forward to doing that. KC number three. Nice, we get a second piece, two out of four completed, wonderful. And here is 95 fletching, still going strong. And that is item number three. And that is 96 fletching, three more levels to go, however, 
that I'm pretty low on shafts and everything so I do not know if I have enough to finish it off and I am finally done there we go I think this will be my last angler outfit and I did all of that for 100 points my god well and I already have 30 mil fishing XP so I'll probably never use this back to mining for a little bit and we have 40 nuggets meaning that I'm gonna buy a prospector helmet I'm only going for full prospector so whenever I can buy a piece I will buy a piece we are starting on KC number 279 wow a familiar number there all right let's go ahead and see how long it takes before we get an item or something oh there we go our first drop coming in at kill count number 291 and we get a gossip charge too I'm not sure if that's the one I needed for the second blade but it might very well be so this could be if we get a bandos hilt our second godsword completion which would be absolutely lovely well we got another godsword chart too so now we know we have extras i, I eventually want to have four godswords right so every single godsword chart that we get i'll be happy with all right well the moment of truth is this the godsword chart that i actually needed let's see i should have it here in the no here and <gasps> nice there we go that's perfect that will be the second uh is it blade yeah i think it's blade so second blade basically done i maybe should just go and make it here we are let's make another blade and very nice so now when we do finally get a bandos hilt I will be able to attach it and make ourselves a second uh, gods are beautiful. I'll just chuck this in my bank for now. Here comes second out of the four prospector pieces. We have enough nuggets to buy ourselves the boots. Very, very nice. We're up to 16 million mining XP. We started at 13 million. Uh, this is going to be a very long grind to finish this prospector, but I do it when I'm AFKing, when I'm doing other things. So you know what? It's not too bad at all. It looks like we did it. Oh my, that was the most annoying thing I ever had to do. I had to wait two days to finish this task. Right, let's go ahead and do the recruitment drive real quick. And that is recruitment drive completed. I can now afford a full initiate set. Wonderful. All right, let me get some cash. And that is 50 points for a Falador Diary. All right, well, the reason why I wanted to do this is thanks to this, I'm now able to do Mother Load Mine a little bit better because I have the tunnel place all to myself. I was basically getting annoyed with having to share the veins with other people. Uh, but anyways, let's put the XP here into Runecraft. And uh, yeah, back to working on Full Prospector, I guess. I also do not think I'll be ever needing this, so let's just drop it. So at this point, it is a new day, and it is time for me to complete Elite Lumbridge Diaries. And I do that perfectly fine, but then I go on a mission, and my mission is to complete a lot of quest points that are extremely easy to do in order to have a higher chance of obtaining 100 tiers from Tears of Gothics, because that is, well, the last thing that I need in order to have all the Elite Lumbridge Diaries done. So I do a bunch of quests. I mean, every single quest that's under 5 minutes to complete, I did it. If it was under 10 minutes I probably also did it so I did a bunch of quests now unfortunate thing about this whole shenanigans is I live commentated all of that but because of the Windows update that happened one day prior for some reason my microphone was muted and it was muted for a while and the most unfortunate thing happened I do all these quests I go in tears of gothics I'm confident and it all comes down to me missing one tier, one tier, I get 99 out of 100 tiers, and at this point I'm smashing my desk, I'm angry, I'm fuming, and the most sad thing is I do not even capture the reaction of me being absolutely angry, because of how hard I get scammed due to a Windows update. I can't believe it. My microphone was off, but dude, that is a trick. I just logged out and I couldn't be asked. That's so bad. I have to wait an entire week. Oh man, that's, that's rough. That's, that's really rough. Well, let's go PVMing because that, that's rough. I want to get one more Zenite. I think that's the first thing I want to try and go and do. Because that will be 500 points and I have 3 Zenites, so I might as well get one more. I really want to get... Oh, there we go. Defeat 300 Demonic Gorillas for 300 points. Nice. Oh, no. Ah, that's the wrong drop. That is 1 in 500, but we already have the heavy frame. We need a monkey tail. That's rough. So that's my second one. 
Alright, so this place is getting way too crowded right now. Every single gorilla is pretty much taken on every world. So, I'm gonna be done for now. Just got a heavy frame off of like 50 that we've killed. Did, what, what was the time? That was like insane speed, I swear. That was 14 minute run. Holy shit. <laughs> that was fast as fuck. Alright, any purples? There is a purple, nice. Who is the lucky man? Good luck, good luck, good luck. What do you need? What do you need before you open? What? Ah, he already goes for it. A Vernic Hilt. He already has that. He's not gonna be happy with that. What do we get? Oh, he has everything? What? We get... that. That's good loot. We'll take that. With no deaths, we'll be seeing a bunch of purples, which is what we want. Look at this loot. You seeds, we'll take those. Oh, uh, no purple. Oh, no, we have purple. Just not in my name. Booty King is the MVP. Not sure how that happened, but let's see. The man has every single drop in the game. <laughs> Good luck, man. Here goes another purple for the booty king himself. Justicar Legar, that's sick. We get magic seeds, we can't complain with the magic seed. Alright, here we go, chest number 48. Magic seeds, nice. We're starting on kill count number 309. Let's hopefully get that hilt because we really, really need it. Ah, yes, yes. 353 KC and we get a God Search Shard 1 off a minion. I've been pretty dry here. I should have seen basically if I were on kill count. I would have had two hilts already, but we are very unlucky. But we're just gonna keep going. Hopefully we get something else than a God Sword Shard 1. One could say that trip was pretty unfortunate. Kill count 376 and we only got a God Sword Shard 1 of a minion. I'm gonna do more TOB right now. Look at the loot. We'll take the loot as well. Solid. Nuts. Some se some herbs. Not bad. But dude, please give me purple. I swear to God. There's no way I'm MVP, right? Wait. Wait. Is that... No, it isn't. <laughs> Never purple, man. Just one time I want it. I really want... Look at this loot. Magic seeds will take it. So basically, every time I bank all, right? But that one time I didn't. Look at the herbs, though. You cannot complain with the herbs. It's all good. This one is the one. Please, I, I want it. Did I want it so bad. <sighs> Please. Is there really... Yes! Okay. No. What? Is... Is that per- Yes! Let's go- Okay! Huge! Huge! Okay, we pause the music, we relax for a second. There we go, last chest of the day! Oh... If only- Dude, just don't be a defender and I'm happy, I'll just open it. The longer you wait... <laughs> no! No! I hate it here, dude. <laughs> No, no. It would have been too good, right? Okay, so the loot, yoink. Well, that was definitely scuffed as fuck, but that was hilarious, actually. <laughs> that was funny as. Did we have a reindeer in this raid? What else? Do we have a purple? At Please. No purples. Feels bad, man. Five chests seems like so much, you know. So many chances to get a purple, but you don't. Feels bad, man. Well, I just slammed my runecrafting by Genie and 87 runecrafting. Very solid. And here is 86 Herblore just chilling after our raids. And I want to get this up to 90 to create super combat. 87, three more levels to go. And here is 88. I do think I might have enough for 90. Maybe not, maybe yes. But either way, if I was very desperate, I could boost to make super combat potions anyway. So we'll just see how long we can go for. Alright, well, just one more level to go then. I had to dive into my guams to finish this one off, but there is 90 herb lore, an ability to make a super combat potion. We'll make a few of those when I have to for the tasks. And yeah, very, very nice. And that's a 250 point task alongside with a elite um, Varrock achievement. Back over here at the herbivore, trying to get myself as many fossils as possible, and we're up to 96 hunters. As you can see, approximately 2.5 mil hunter an hour, and approximately 1.7 fletching an hour, but I'm about to run out of the headless arrows. But yeah, this is what I'm after, this small fossil, so I can get kudos in order to finish off my Varrock Elite Diaries. So, a lot of things happening right now. I do want to finish this 99 hunter, because we're not even far off, and uh, I'm also getting this fletching done at the same time. And there's 97 fletching, 
two more levels to go i think i can probably do it i don't know i think hunter is gonna be first though if i commit to this my herbs finally grew and there is 98 farming another reason why i'm doing the toad flex is because i have so many bird nests that i can make a bunch of brews like close to like 400 brews all right i've been doing some uh, diaries let's try to use this on that to create a part summer pie then use this on that to create a little bit more this on that to create a raw summer pie and then i think i just cook it and hopefully i don't burn it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I've, oh. did you burn it <laughs> yes i have 99 cooking how did i burn it man <laughs> Yes, I burnt it! Here we go again, round two. We use this on that, this on that, this on that. I swear if I burn two of them in a row with 99 cooking, we're gonna have a problem. There it is. And that is an Elite Wire Rock Diary completed for 250 points. And once again, we are stuck because I cannot complete the other part yet, which would be to speak to Orlando Smith with 153 kudos. However, I do not think I'm too far away of being able to do so. All right, back to Herbie. We need to get we need to get some fossils, but we also get 97 Hunter. So at this point, I'm pretty much less than an hour away from 99, and I really want to do it. So I'll probably stay here. There it is, 98 Hunter. Just one more level to go, and here is 98 Fletching as well. I'm over halfway done with 99 Hunter as well, and I want to finish it before I go to sleep today and before I finish this video. And here we have it, the 99 Hunter is accomplished. I really wanted to finish this one off before I ended the video for today because I think it's one of those 99s that I've had basically completed but I just didn't finish it. But yeah, very happy with this one. I almost finished an entire 99 fletching as well but I think this is where I will be ending the episode. A lot was accomplished in the making of this one and in the next one I guess we'll be working towards even more 99s, even more PVM drops and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm pretty excited for the future and with that being said I really do hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did consider subscribing, consider liking the video and I'll see you again very very soon with another video. Have a good one and bye bye.